What I want to do is I want to get some quick hits so that you can make money on today just for cash flow. One of them being LVS. LVS has been stronger since the earnings. Then they came out, it went to as high as 48. It's been under pressure with the market as well. If you need to look at something, yesterday we rallied, it rallied with it. It's still holding this downtrend. Okay, yesterday it, it pierced through it, reversed. I think as long as it stays above this 44.50, you know, you can continue to buy it, you know, on weakness. And when the market wants to bounce, you know, it can go. And at some point, if we get into a better environment, this stock should take off. As far as Caterpillar, Caterpillar has been a favorite for everyone. But this one, you know, has been a little weaker lately. It's stronger than the other industrials. You know, it did reverse yesterday. If you want to trade it long versus yesterday's low, I think you could look there in this down tape. If you take a quick look at Caterpillar, you will see that last time we, we focused on Caterpillar, it also was weak came into support, held the 200 day. This was like a tier one type buy. And then once it finally broke this descending channel, it had a nice move. Similar pattern over here, you know, came back into support, broke it a bit, started to reverse. I think if you're not in Caterpillar, you could buy it long versus level. And then finally, if the market gets a little traction, you could add as it breaks this descending channel, but don't anticipate it, wait for it to happen. As far as Netflix, Netflix reversed strong yesterday okay it was down a lot it retested uh, a, a trend line that hasn't been broken you know on this down open i would look at netflix to see if it can go from negative to positive if you look here on netflix you will see that you know this was a trend line that we had in place it held it here didn't even make it down the last few times and it tried to pierce it today but closed above it so if you want to trade long netflix traded versus yesterday's low of about 251 maybe they try and take it from negative to positive and if we do build on yesterday, which it's not looking so great right now. You do have a bit of a wedge here, so you could add to it once it breaks it, if anything wants to you know, buy uh, strength. Yesterday, we, we proved after eight down days that we could finally buy you know, weakness, but it was very hard once these things rallied to feel comfortable buying on the up move. So we have to see if that changes. For right now, it hasn't. You know, lastly, I want to show you CL, um, more of a consumer stock. Um, you know, everyone still has to brush their teeth and buy soap and whatnot. And if you look at Colgate, you know, it is well above the 200-day moving average. You know, it's below some of the, the you know, the, the momentum moving averages. But if this can get going above this uh, area of about 85, perhaps you get a bounce here. You know, traded versus support if this were to break this. I guess, you know, the next level to watch would be this 81.29.